Since the 1970s, electronic gaming has become increasingly present and influential in homes throughout the developed world. Since many games seem to have no real educational value, yet take up many children's free time, there has always been the question of how video games affect the education and learning of children. Today, more than ever before, technology is being infused into more and more classrooms in response to the ever-growing infiltration of technology on everyday life. However, while most video games are not known for being educational, there have been some great educational games over the past 25 years. In the following video, you will see some of these classic games that were both fun and educational. As mentioned previously, technology is being used in classrooms more than ever before. This includes using electronic gaming as a means to teach and reinforce subjects learned in class. We decided to interview some students and teachers to get their views on how technology, specifically video games, affect student learning. Yes. Yes. Um, I like to play the Wii at home because my mom got it for me for Christmas, I think, and I have a couple of games on there that I like to play a lot. Okay, like what kind of games on the Wii? Um, there's, like, games that test your strength, things, some things uh, test your mind, and some things just are just for fun. The Wii and DS. Okay, what kind of games do you play on the Wii? Um, Mario Kart. Okay. And then on the game, I mean on the DS, it is Super Mario Bros. Um, I play like Mario games and sports games. Okay, on what kind of like game systems are they? A Wii and a DS. I have a couple, but they they vary in how I like to play them. No. You don't play any at school? Do you get on the internet and play any games? Yeah. Okay, what kind of games do you play on the internet at school? Bubble Trouble, Pro Football. Okay, are those on Study Island? No. Do you guys ever do Study Island? Yeah. Uh, m we do things on like the smart board, like we play Jeopardy and we've played other things like that. And we've also done Study Island. Mm, yes, sometimes on like Study Island. Okay. Anything besides Study Island that you play? Mm, not really. I think they're helpful. They help me a lot. Like, they help my grades usually. I'd rather learn in class. I think I'd rather play the games just because I think they get my attention even more than if I attended a class. Sitting in class and you'd, learning. You'd rather sit in class and learn than play the video games? Yeah? Okay. Very good.
yes, I think it's really good to do review games um, after concepts have been previously taught. I think that's the best time to play games. I do. I think it, it makes a good way for the kids to practice skills. And, you know, they can't learn the original skills from them, but to practice math facts or, you know, any other skills. It's good practice. Okay. It depends on what the um, activity is. If you are trying to reinforce a skill that's already been taught and you are having a hard time um, getting a student to master that or stay focused on that or find the attention into it, sometimes using electronic games can help reinforce things in their learning without even realizing they're learning. So it depends on what it is. Yes, I use games. Um, so we use Study Island, we use games um, from the Smart Board, we use um, some Discovery Ed games, sometimes game boards, vocab games, um, sometimes they're student um, created games to review concepts. Every social studies review we've done some type of a review game. Um, we did a Jeopardy game the last time. Um, so yes, they can go up to the smart board and we're all using the game and they love it and they're not even realizing they're reviewing. So yeah, we do. Probably the biggest one we use is Study Island. Um, we teach the skills that are state assessments, um, objectives, and then the kids have to answer a question correctly, then they get to play the game. They get to choose, you know, there's 20 or 30 different games that they get to choose from and they can play the one they like or that they feel they're good at. So. Okay. See, I don't really think there was much available back then. I mean, it wasn't until I was a little older, before, you know, Atari and all those started. And there are educational games on those, too. So. Educational? Probably not. Um, we had Atari at home <laughs> back when I was younger. Um, but as far as, no, not really. Um, we didn't have a lot of <laughs> educational games. We would do around the world um, chalkboard race kind of games, math fact games, but mostly in lineup and who can answer something first. Did you find these games helpful? Well, they were fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they probably help review concepts. As you can see, both educators and students see the benefit of using video games to help teach and reinforce material. While every teacher and student may not feel that it is a good way to learn, it is inevitable that more electronic gaming will be part of classrooms around the world. Hopefully as this trend increases, the educational value of the games continues to be of a high level, augmenting what is being taught in the classroom. It may seem like a brave new world to some educators, but it is one that must be accepted by all since the evolution of technology is not about to slow down.